Hey folks, Matt from ArtoftheImage.com. Exciting day here at Art of the Image because I have another package to open. This one's in from Transcend and I already slit the, uh, the tape because I, I wanted to double check what it was. And we have an SSD drive. Let me move the box out of the way. We have a Transcend 512 gigabyte, uh, two and a half inch solid straight drive. So right there, this uh, I'm really excited about because this is going to uh, give us some increased performance on both my laptop and my desktop system. Maybe even make my laptop, my Acer V7, fast enough to handle 4K. Even if it doesn't, that's a, that's a big ask, but even if it doesn't take it all the way to fast enough to handle 4K, it's gonna make 1080 video processing and photo processing much better. So um, not only is this an unboxing and initial impressions, um, this is also slash how to increase performance on your laptop or desktop um, for photo processing, um, you know, in Photoshop or other applications, and also for video processing, which is more demanding, just like gaming is. Um, and that I use Premiere Pro, the current version. So without further ado, let me grab uh, my little X-Acto knife and we'll get this open. So let's see about opening up this uh, package. It's, uh, it's well sealed, I'll tell you that. Uh, how do we get in here without causing damage? Okay. I'm excited about this because it's a very inexpensive upgrade. I think even this 512, and you can get, I think a 256, um, different manufacturers have different breakpoints, but I think they have a 256 and also a 128 or a 120. Uh, and then you can also go to a terabyte. So you can get them, uh, this 512 I believe is right around $200. I'll put a link below, you can check it out. Um, but you can get a smaller one if you don't need to go that large and still bump up the performance increase. Uh, the performance on your laptop or desktop. So we'll take it out here. So we've got mounting screws for installation and we've got some um, quick installation guide and then we've also got some uh, pamphlets on uh, other products such as uh, Apple solutions, RAM memory modules and things like that. We may talk to Transcend about uh, showing you some of those. There's the installation guide there and what do we have here? Oh, the warranty card, okay. So, oh, and this is the mounting plate. So for those of you that haven't done this before, what this does is with the screws and the mounting plate, because this is a two and a half inch drive, we'll take it out here and show you. So it's in the protected packaging, very well packaged by the way. And they sent it to me in that, this little drive in that huge box, so ultra well packaged. Um, so this is, um, static uh, discharge protection type bag for electrostatic discharge anyways um, what you do is you um, take your drive if you want to put it into your desktop and you use this mounting plate so you can mount it on the plate and then now it fits in a three and a half inch base slot for where your standard hard drives are conversely if you don't want to use that you can take this drive I shouldn't say if you don't want to use it but if you want to put this into your desktop this is a two and a half inch drive. So this will fit into your laptop. Did I just say desktop? I meant laptop. So this will fit into your laptop. Has a, um, it's very nicely built in the sense it has a nice uh, aluminum feeling case. I think that's aluminum. Let me see if it says it on the box. It, um, yeah, aluminum casing. So um, it has an aluminum case and it says it's a casing. I wonder if you could actually take it out of there if you wanted to. Not that you should, but anyways. Um, this is just for the spec wise, 560 max read speed and 460 it looks like write speed so that's hugely faster than a standard optical drive even a 7200 rpm optical drive so uh, that's your standard hard drive for those of you that you know haven't worked with ssds before so this is going to bump up the performance in Incredibly. I already have an SSD in my desktop that my operating system is on. It's a smaller one. I think it's a 120 or 128, uh, which is all you need just to run Windows and, and your and your software. Um, then you're going to move all your files over to a different one. So what this is going to do is this is going to be the um, 
storage drive. So it's the, with the working drive for files, which will really speed things up. And then I also have an extra, as I have two SSDs in right now. So we'll also show it to you in the configuration of this um, as a uh, working drive in tandem with another SSD for um, a cache memory type drive. So that will speed things up as well. I mean, ideally, you'd have your whole computer full of SSDs, but opticals are still cheaper for storage. So I still use opticals for storage, but for working files, this should be amazing. Then also what we're going to do, and uh, maybe even first off, we're going to put this in the laptop and we're going to so I'll show you how fast the laptop boots, which isn't too bad right now. It has a split drive. It's got um, like one of those hybrid drives. So it's like a terabyte drive with, I think, a 20 or 28 megabytes or, or not megabytes, sorry, gigabyte uh, little SSD flash drive uh, combination. So that helps it boot faster. But I think what you'll see is once we put the Transcend 512 SSD in, my Acer V7 will boot faster. And also we'll show you the differences between uh, working speeds when you're working on a video, when you're calling up Photoshop, just how long it takes to open and whatnot, um, as well as if you're calling up uh, Premiere Pro and then actually working on a video file. So I'll take the same video file, open it on the stock drive, the hybrid drive that's mostly an optical drive. And then once we install this drive, we will put the Transcend 512 in and then we'll show you that same file, how long it takes to open up the program and then work on it and process it and see what the differences in speed are. And I, I think you'll be impressed. I'm expecting to be. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to put the Transcend drive in as the main drive, the 512 gigabyte SSD as the main drive in the laptop. And then I'm going to take out the laptop drive, the existing one, and we'll put that on as an external drive and we'll show you the differences in that because that should boost the speed as well because then the Transcend can focus on running the operating system and the software, Photoshop or Premiere Pro, and then all the working files can go on the other drive and we'll run them through the USB 3 connection, which is fairly fast. So uh, that should boost things too. So lots to see and figure out and test, um, but very much looking forward to putting the uh, Transcend 512 gigabyte drive to its tests. Again, I'll put the link below. You can check it out. As I said, I think I've seen these for around 200, maybe even slightly less lately, uh, but certainly check it out. If you have any questions about the Transcend 512, SSD um, or just SSDs in general, leave them below. Any comments, if you guys have done this same type of thing, let me know, leave some feedback and um, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks.